Hi guys, it's Chilla here from Zara Nest. Today I'm going to do my own nest. I have already prepped and primed my nest and applied a thin layer of clear acrylic. On my index finger, I double dip my brush into lemon drizzle and Barbie candy and making sure it doesn't touch my cuticle. Now I'm using lemon shimmer and moon jelly. I'm just randomly placing all of my colors down because I'm going to add some glitter on top of it. This is azure sky and pasta pink and I'm adding some more yellow and more green and more pink. my middle finger I'm going to create an ombre with all of the colors I'm using. I'm placing moon jelly on first and gently stroking my brush down. I'm not using a lot of pressure. Second color is azure sky and then lavender shimmer. I'm using nice and wet beads so it's very easy to work with. Now I'm adding Barbie candy and then a lemon drizzle at the end. I had to add another little bit of Azure Sky because it's just disappeared. Or maybe I'm just too picky. And I'm making sure the side walls are nice and sharp. So I don't have to do as much filing at the end. On my ring finger, I'm applying a very, very thin layer of moon jelly all over on my nail. And it has to be very thin because I will be using some more glitter. I love glitter. I like to use a colored acrylic before I'm applying a, a, a glitter because I don't have to use as much glitter. My nails won't be as bulky. And here we go, I'm using Fairy Crush and then Prince Flake on top of it. Fairy Crush is one of my favorites out of the premix glitters. I'm using Fairy Crush almost like diagonally on the nail and Nikila as well. On my pinky finger, I'm going to do a marble nail. I picked up a small bead of lemon drizzle and placed it down the cuticle just to keep, keep it nice and neat. I'm using a small and wet bead to do the marble and then carefully swirl it around. Make sure you don't do it too much, otherwise you would lose the marble effect. Added more glitter and then I left the tip of my nail to be transparent. I'm going to cap all of my nails with glass slippers. Make sure to cap all of the glitters because if it's shining back to you then you are going to file those off. Once I finished, I used my metal file with 150 grit, looking out for my side walls are nice and straight, the apex in the right place and my nails is not too bulky. I'm going to straight in with no white top coat 
and cured it in my gorgeous glitter bath lamp for 60 seconds. I'm using my detailer brush and added some cute little stars and dots with white gloss gel polish and then cured it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And that is my finished set. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and hit the bell button. And I will see you all soon. Bye!